who there? I say who there? Getting so a man can't walk up anywhere in this city. Look, I ain't got no money, so there's nothing for you to. Sold Bacalo, then near a moi. Mortis, I don't want no trouble now. I was just a boatman. Tell Scaperia I didn't have nothing to do with nothing. You hear? Nothing. For more now, I'm just a guide, a boatman. I don't even know where I was taking that detective. I'll just follow his map. Don't moi. Les pauvres sur leur mou. You don't gotta do this. Mon attente est pesante dans vos mains. No way I survived that. Chained and beaten at the bottom of the Mississippi. Vince Giganti had murdered me sure as my name was Harvey Jenkins. And yet, here I was, standing upright and dripping wet. It was late, but this was somewhere in the French Quarter, and the looky-loos couldn't keep their eyes off me. I stood out like a coffin at a wedding. I ducked in an alley to avoid all the peepers and saw a door open. It was red inside. Red like hell and I found myself wanting to walk toward it. So maybe I was dead, after all. You sure those lips of yours can keep a secret, Leo? Vince will kill us both if he finds out I was here. Well, you can't blame him, doll. It was bad enough I had more to kill his brother, Joey. How do you think he'd feel if he knew I was doing the mamba with his gal? <laughs> Murderous. But he won't last long, anyway. He's Corallo's monkey. I've been trying to get him to make a move, but he's as loyal as he is stupid. That ain't a vice of yours, is it, dull face? Like that pirate gold you found? Vince would give every bit of it to Corolla. How do you know about it? Oh, I know a few things. A girl has her ways. I'm beginning to see that. Can I see it? Maybe pick out one little piece for a shopkeeper's girl like me. That ain't a good idea. Aw, Leo, come on. I'll make it worth your while. Just one itsy bitsy piece. I guess one teeny look, can't I? Where am I? You be in Mama Bonte's voodoo parlor, child. Have been for three days. You be in bad shape when you come in screaming and caterwauling like the devil. Took a lot of mojo to get you back. Mojo, huh? I should be dead. Honey, child. You are dead. I've been waiting on this day a long time. I don't believe much in prophecy. The future is always changing like the river, you know. But this fella come to me a couple years back and says to give this to the dead man what come walking in my door this night. And here I am. And here you are. But I ain't dead. Damn close, but no cigar. Child, feel your wrist. You got a pulse in that thing? Don't be ridiculous. Huh. Now take this box, Mr. Jenkins. Your grandfather left this for you. My grandfather? No. My grandfather disappeared before I was even born. Out west somewhere. I can't speak to that. I can only tell you a man named Jenkins brought me this box and said to give it to you tonight. That's how I know your name. You've looked inside, haven't you? Of course I have, child. Think I could hold on to something like that for years without stealing a little peek? What is it? Open and see, child. Open and see. What was inside was a letter and an old marshal's badge with a bullet hole in it. The letter said it was from my grandfather and that he'd like to tell me what was going on, but I wouldn't believe it anyway. It ended with, keep the badge nearby forever. 
It'll keep the monster down. I'd seen enough mumbo-jumbo before to know it was real. That creep Mortis was famous for it in certain circles. My father had seen some things up in Chicago in the 20s, too. Things he didn't talk about except in fitful sleep. Mama Bonte just want one thing for fighting that evil spirit inside you. Spirit? Yes, sir. Nasty cuss. But made you strong and kept you alive down there in that dark river, it said. If you're going to trust a spirit. I started to laugh, but I felt something wriggling around in my insides. Like I'd swallowed an eel down there in the Mississippi. But I knew it wasn't anything physical. It was something else. Something not of this world, something born of hate and fear. I wrapped my fingers around that badge with a bullet hole and felt the thing crawl down inside my guts. Only thing I want to know is... You going after that pirate gold? You know about that, huh? Your spirit was the talkative sort. I could use the dough, but I've got a hankering for some vengeance. I looked at Mama Ponte. She was easy on the eyes and hard on the heart. She was pretty and young with green eyes like Jade, and they were glaring right through me. I suppose you're going to lecture me about vengeance, huh? You're one of those spiritual types. Only thing I'm going to tell you about vengeance is to make sure there ain't no one left to bring it back on you. Huh. Something tells me you know a little bit about that. I didn't take up voodoo to make love potions. I headed out to Leo Scapelli's place. His crew had jacked the gold from Joe Gigante, Vince's brother. There was only one way both Joey and Leo could have known about that treasure. When I got there, Scapelli's place was lit up like a Christmas tree in January. Flames dancing out of the windows. Somebody had gotten to him first. And I was sure the gold had gone with him. This was about to get a lot harder. 